Hey there, it's Elliot. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you've got an iPhone, iPad, or Apple Watch, but it's locked with an iCloud activation lock? And to make things more complicated, you can't access the original Apple ID? Sounds like a tricky situation, right? Well, you're in luck because today, we'll be walking through multiple ways to remove that annoying iPhone lock to owner message, also known as iCloud activation lock from your device. All these methods are totally safe, legal, and designed to work for iPhones, iPads, and even Apple Watches. Now, I know the internet is bursting with services, software, and other methods claiming to solve this problem. But let's be honest, not all of them are effective, and some could potentially harm your device. That's why we're here to offer you a much better, safer, and absolutely free alternative. And trust me, it's quicker and guaranteed to work. Let's get started. Just keep in mind, this guide is meant to help real device owners who've just lost their access details. We're not backing any shady moves like unlocking stolen stuff. Let's stick to the rules, respect other people's rights, and remember we're following YouTube's community standards here. All right, with that sorted, let's keep going. Let's talk about some services that have been a lifesaver for many people caught in an iPhone lock to owner scenario. We're just providing helpful info for educational purposes. One such service is the iUnlock app. This tool has won a lot of hearts for its easy to use design and speedy unlocking abilities. Picture it as your friendly neighbor, always ready to help when you've forgotten your keys. Next up, let's discuss Locked to Owner. Despite the name, it's actually designed to help you regain control of your device. It's like having a hotline to a 24 7 locksmith. Then there's Safe Unlocks. Imagine you're stuck in a tech maze, and Safe Unlocks is your guide, helping you navigate the tricky turns and locked doors to get you out safely. Finally, we have Unlock Here's AI-powered unlocking web app. This service is like the Swiss Army knife of unlocking tools, designed with artificial intelligence to tackle a range of potential lock issues. Remember, we're just sharing what's helped others. These services have proven successful in the past, and they're worth considering if you find yourself in an iPhone locked to owner pickle. Up next, we're going to reveal how to use Unlock Here's AI Unlocking Assistant. Stick around, it's going to be really useful. Just a quick note, these unlocking services are generally accessible only in first world countries. But hold your horses if you're tuning in from elsewhere. We've got something special for you. Every week, we're dishing out 250 unlocks for free to our loyal viewers. Interested? It's super simple to get in on the action. First up, hit that like button under this video. Next, click on the subscribe button to join our growing community. Lastly, drop a comment below with your device model like Samsung S9, your IMEI number, and country. Once you complete these steps, you're automatically in the running for one of the 250 weekly unlocks. So go ahead and good luck. All right, let's jump right in. First things first, on either your phone or computer, open your browser and head over to unlockhere.com. This is a web app powered by a cool little AI assistant named Nifty that's all about unlocking mobile phone restrictions. Once you're on the site, let Nifty know you need an iCloud unlock. Just click on Activation Lock. Next, you've got to pick your device. Let's say it's an iPhone, but you could also select iPad or Apple Watch if that's what you're dealing with. Now you've got to enter your IMEI or serial number. Here's the scoop. All iPhones have IMEIs, so choose IMEI if you're unlocking an iPhone. iPads and Apple Watches might also have IMEIs if they have a SIM card slot or cellular capacity. However, most of them just have a serial number, so enter that instead if it's the case. If you're wondering how to find this, just press the sleep button on your lock device, press it again, and then tap on the I on the bottom right. Boom, there you'll find your device info. Got all that? Great. Now don't forget to input this device information in the next step. Next, you'll have to enter some basic info to attach the order to your account. Make sure you enter the real info so you can receive your order confirmation. You'll get a confirmation code sent to your email that you'll need to confirm. Once you've done that, check that you agree to the terms. Confirm that you're not planning on unlocking a stolen device. There's a quick CAPTCHA to verify that you're not a robot and tap start process and you're all set. Keep an eye on your email for a confirmation code. If it doesn't arrive, don't forget to check your spam or junk folder. Once you've got the code, take that code Enter it back to the Unlock Here page and input that here. Confirm once again that you're not a robot. Once you've done this, your unlock process is underway 
and your device will soon be opened. As you can see here, we swipe up to see the iPhone locked to owner page. In this part, it really takes time and patience. We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone. And as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Don't worry, it will be worth the wait. You will enjoy your phone once again, once it's finally unlocked. So we wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Patience is the key here. And voila. In this part, let's skip all the setup. Don't worry, you can go back to them later on. Make sure to check the terms and conditions and skip the next steps and just set it all up later on. And there you have it. It says, welcome to iPhone. Now go to settings and create your own Apple ID. Tap forget password or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. And here just add your personal details to continue. And here's a shortcut to check your device info, making sure that this is legit. Great, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. If ever this didn't work for you, we've got other methods for those who prefer a different approach. All right, folks, let's dive a bit deeper into some more alternative methods to remove the iCloud activation lock. This is all about unlocking your Apple ID without the original Apple ID. Seems like a puzzle, right? But we've got some tricks up our sleeve. First off, you could reach out to Apple. Although it's not the fastest route, if you can prove that the device is yours, Apple will help you ditch the activation lock. Another approach is through the Erase All Content and Settings option on your device. This works if Find My iPhone isn't enabled and you can access the settings. It's like giving your device a clean slate. Lastly, there are a host of third-party services such as Unlock Here's AI-powered unlocking web app. These are designed to help with this sort of issue. But remember, we're just sharing what's worked for people in the past. And that's a wrap for today. Thanks for exploring these legal ways to unlock the iCloud activation lock. Stay tuned for more videos, and remember, we're on this tech journey together.